the Apollo 11 mission would endure as one of humanity's greatest achievements. Some viewers remember it as the successful journey that took a man to the moon. Apollo 11 witnessed Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin become courageous pioneers who etched their name in history by being the first to walk on the lunar surface. However, there was another astronaut on that mission, whose fame does not compare to the first two mentioned. This astronaut responded to the name of Michael Collins, and still remains relatively unknown due to the role he played in the mission. Michael Collins has shared disturbing secrets that astronauts discovered during their journey to the moon. What could they have found on the moon that was so disturbing? Neil Armstrong's iconic expression when taking his first steps on the moon was, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin followed him as they explored the lunar terrain, while Michael Collins remained in the spacecraft orbiting the moon. Throughout history, the moon has been a natural wonder studied by our ancestors with limited resources. They discovered its influence on the tides and the creation of calendars, and associated it with myths and legends. The first missions to the moon were carried out by unmanned probes and orbiters, providing valuable information about its conditions and geology. These achievements fueled the desire to send humans to the moon, especially during the Cold War. When the space race between the United States and the USSR became a source of pride and a display of technological superiority, the United States Apollo mission in 1969 had the goal of landing a man on the moon and bringing him back safely. The Apollo program spanned a series of stages of development and testing, culminating in the historic Apollo 11 mission. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended on the moon while Michael Collins remained in the spacecraft. Armstrong took the first steps on the moon, followed by Aldrin, and they carried out scientific experiments before returning to the main ship. On July 24, the three astronauts splashed down in the Pacific. Completing the mission and being hailed for making humanity's dream come true and paving the way for future space exploration, Michael Collins had a distinguished career as a test pilot and astronaut. Born in Italy and raised in a military family, he developed his passion for aviation and astronomy in Washington. After graduating from West Point, he joined the Air Force, flying missions during the Korean War. Later, he joined NASA and underwent training for the Gemini and Apollo programs. He made his first spaceflight on the Gemini 10 mission and was later appointed to the historic Apollo 11 mission, where he was part of the crew that landed on the moon for the first time. His contribution represented a monumental achievement in his distinguished career and professional life. Michael Collins played a crucial role as the command module pilot on the Apollo 11 mission, despite being detached from the lunar surface. His task was to guide and maintain the command module Columbia while Armstrong and Aldrin explored the moon. This role involved ensuring a successful undocking of the lunar module and performing critical rendezvous and docking maneuvers with precision. Collins had an extensive list of responsibilities, monitoring systems, and maintaining constant communication with mission control. Without his work, the mission would not have been as successful, as any rendezvous and docking errors could have endangered not only the entire mission, but also the safety of his fellow astronauts. Michael Collins' role in the Apollo 11 mission went beyond mere mechanical tasks. As the pilot of the command module, he made sure that he was in perfect shape, since it was his only way back to Earth. In addition, he played a crucial role as the main source of communication between the crew and mission control, transmitting valuable observations and photographs of the moon in real time. Despite not having the opportunity to explore the lunar surface, Collins carried out his responsibilities with coolness and composure. Understanding the importance of his role as go-between and demonstrating unwavering dedication, Michael Collins was instrumental in the success of the Apollo 11 mission. He played a crucial role in the transterrestrial injection maneuver, which was essential for returning to Earth from lunar orbit.
Although he was physically separated from his companions on the moon, Collins kept the ship in lunar orbit for 21 hours, experiencing moments of profound solitude. Despite being in the background, his dedication and technical skills proved vital to the accomplishment of the mission. Collins personifies the collaborative and collective spirit of the expedition, and his introspection during his solitary time on the ship surely left a deep impression on him. Collins became the loneliest human in history, on the far side of the moon, with no connection to anyone due to no radio signal on that side. Surprisingly, however, Collins describes his experience as lonely serenity rather than desolation. He was unable to communicate with his teammates or with mission control on Earth during each orbit due to the absence of radio transmissions. Despite never setting foot on the far side of the moon, he became the first person to see it completely alone. On the Apollo 8 mission, the crew orbited the moon without leaving the spacecraft and experienced radio silence together. Collins, on the other hand, could only receive communication when he reached the near side of the moon, facing Earth. The far side of the moon is quiet both in terms of radio and interference, making it an ideal location for radio astronomy. Weak signals from the sun and other sources can be detected without interference from human activities. In contrast, the near side of the moon faces radio interference from Earth, which would make it difficult to get accurate readings for other signals. The far side of the moon lacks a substantial ionosphere, making it a site characterized by radio silence and utter calm that has captured the interest of astronomers. In 2019, China became the first to land a rover on the far side of the moon as part of the Chang'e 4 mission. The rover carried out low-frequency astronomical observations using a small antenna deployed in the von Karman crater, located in the South Polakin Basin. In addition, the rover communicated with Earth via a relay satellite positioned at the L2 Lagrange point, where gravitational forces balance. The far side of the moon is mysterious and provides unique opportunities for exploration, albeit with communication challenges. Collins was the first to experience the intense loneliness there, but he found serenity and a new perspective as he floated in space, observing Earth from a distance. He knew how to appreciate the beauty of our planet and reflect on his position in the vast universe. Despite the loneliness, he kept busy and focused on the success of the Apollo 11 mission, preparing for docking with his crewmates. Collins enjoyed the quiet moments in the space and found peace and contentment in solitude. While orbiting the moon, he was privileged to witness the far side of the moon in all its splendor, a rugged and cratered landscape that remained hidden from Earth. While orbiting the moon, Collins saw the Earth as a small, fragile blue ball in the vastness of space, an impressive sight that left a deep impression on him. This perspective, known as the big picture effect, changed his view of our planet and his place in the universe. He felt connected to all life on Earth and developed a strong sense of environmental responsibility. After the Apollo 11 mission, he became a passionate advocate for conserving the Earth, urging to protect it and make decisions that preserve its natural balance. He longed for political leaders to see our world from his perspective in order to protect it rather than harm it. Loneliness in space led Collins to face existential questions and changed his beliefs. He reflected on the meaning of the universe and his role in it, which strengthened his spiritual perspective and his belief in an ordered cosmos. Collins considered being the loneliest man in honor and during that time he found beauty in space and pondered fundamental questions about life and how best to protect our world.